helps if you remember to hit record. Hey guys, how is everybody? Happy Monday to you all. Happy Canada Day observed to my Canadian friends and coming up here on Wednesday, happy uh, Independence Day to uh, all my uh, friends in the US and uh, just happy day to all of you uh, coming wherever you're seeing, viewing me from. That was awkward and awesome, but that's what you get. Um, had a good week. Not a lot of crafting done because I resubbed to WoW and I just spent a lot of time running around murdering demons and doing a bit of this and a bit of that and getting read everything ready for when the next um, expansion releases. So that's kind of what I did uh, all last week. So there's not a lot of stuff, well, not a lot of progress on things to uh, show. Plus we're gearing up for the uh, big stadium show that's going to be on the uh, 4th of July here. Um, I get to work it. It's been kind of a funny thing because I'll be thinking, Woo, Fourth of July is coming up. I get a day off. Woo. Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, I get to work. Um, it's not hard work or terrible work or bad work. I just sit in the t in the uh, ticket office as emergency backup tech support um, in case a printer goes down, something's not correcting, connecting right. You know, I can get in there and, and hopefully solve the issue really fast um, before a line backs up or anything like that. So. I get to work. I don't get a day off. That's, I guess that's okay. Um, seeing as my parents had to uh, head off to uh, Arizona for um, one of my mother's aunts died. So they, they're off for a funeral. So kind of sad I didn't get to go to Arizona because I got a lot of family down there and I do love to see my family. But uh, funerals are never fun reasons to uh, get together. Um, let's see, she would have been my great aunt. I think I've met her a handful of times. So I'm like, oh, that's sad. But it doesn't have a super hard emotional impact on me. Anyway, babbling, how are you guys? How are you? You hanging in there? You keeping it together? One foot in front of the other? I hope so. One foot in front of the other. Remember, if you're down there in the bottom of the pit of despair, this is not the way it is forever. Sure, it might be like this tomorrow, but this is not the way it is forever. And reach out, reach up, take a step forward. You don't have to leap out of the hole in one giant leap, you know, like Superman, but just take a step. Okay, that was a, an aside, but there you go. So let's get into all the reasons why you are really here, and that is the progress report. The only thing cross-stitch wise that I have been working on has been my um, Oh Holy Night Nativity Sampler by Stony Creek. Uh, somebody requested that I show the, uh, the flyer. This is the finished picture. The reason why I don't is because it spent a lot of time in a bag and it's kind of creased and seen some better days. So I typically don't show it. That's why I'm, I have a, a working copy that I'm working off of. Um, the pattern has been promised to someone else. I'm sorry all y'all who have asked me if you can buy it from me or whatnot, but it has been promised. Um, I don't think it's out of print. You should be able to uh, get a hold of it if you are wanting to stitch the nativity. Anyway, so here we are. What I have been working on. I finished all this lovely, lovely green down here on the bottom of our first Roy's man. And except for the back stitching, he is all complete. And then I started the very first bits of light blue and cream here for Wiseman number two. He's wearing a red cloak, so I need to do some red up in here and then fill that in. And then I'll move up and do his head and then move on to Wiseman number three, which he sits kind of over here. So that is my plan for this wonderful project. Uh, let's see, I am stitching this on a 28 count picture this plus linen in blue, or it's blue dwarf, one of those. I know it's not just plain blue, and dwarf is definitely in the name, so I can't remember if it's just plain old dwarf or if it's blue dwarf. I mean, I started this in 2013, you guys, so it has been in hibernation for a very, very, very long time, so I don't always remember. Um, with the call for DMCs and uh, stuff. Now one of you 
we'll use this one because you can. One of you started this and I'm so, so sorry that you had to pick out all the straw. And I tell you what, the straw was evil. You'll notice that I don't grid, but I highlight as I go along so I can keep track of where I am. You're not gonna get the whole pattern from that poor shepherd's head. Anyway, so I highlight to keep track of where I'm going since I don't grid. I tend to work in blocks. Um, I'll run maybe one, one length of whatever thread I'm working on up to a certain point, you know, always right next to each other. I hardly ever skip big blocks of spaces. And so that's kind of why I was able to get through the uh, straw without too much problem. I'm so sorry that you had to, to frog all the straw out. But yeah, the straw was my least favorite thing to do because it's like four stitches of this color and four stitches of that color. And there's like seven different colors that you're blending, alternating to get the look of straw. Not a fun one, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so that's all the cross stitch we've got today, guys, which means it's on to Oh yarn. <clears throat> and I only worked on one thing this week too. And surprisingly enough, it was my uh, sock head hat. So this marker, right, this pansy right here is where I was last time I saw you. And I got all of this done in the interim. Uh, this marker is where I started when I started working this on Sunday. And so I just went around and 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 around some more. I've measured it. It's about seven inches. So I've got about two more inches of around and around and around to go before I can start doing the, um, the decreases. How's all? What is the name of the decreases? So there's that. I think for the size of my head that it is. Do you guys do this too? This is going to be awkward. Anyway. It's coming along nicely, I think. I could probably go ahead and start the degree creases right now if I didn't want a, a sluchy. Hmm? What do you think? Yeah? Fabulous? I love the color. It's looking pretty good. So there you go. That is everything that I have been working on as far as knitting goes. So, <sighs> right, right. But uh, this is the perfect church project because I can just sit and contemplate what's being talk talked about and I'm not checking a pattern. I'm not checking off um, any you know, like rows where you do four rows of this and then you do two rows of a different thing, you know, so I'm not counting rows. I'm just going around and around and around and around and around and around. So there you go. Um, um, I was going to say something. It's gone. It's gone now. Too late. So there's that. Um, new hobby, new obsession. So you better believe there are. yarn inquisitions. So everybody has been talking about how uh, Knit Picks has a sock yarn called uh, Felici, Felici, and how it's self-striping and how it's wonderful and how they sort of release a few colors and then it goes away and then they release a few colors and then it goes away and um, stop knocking over the garbage can. It's annoying. Stop it. Princess is a plastic bag kitty. She loves her, her plastic bags. The only problem is I put the plastic bags in the trash so that nothing sticky gets on the can. So she tries to nuzzle herself into the plastic bag that's in the trash and knocks over the trash. It's annoying. Oh my goodness, cats. I think this is the last cat I'm only ever going to own. You are the last cat. She doesn't care. Anyway, uh, Felici. So uh, they got, I got word. So everybody talks about the Knit Picks Felici and how it's a great self-striping sock yarn. And so I'm thinking, oh great, I kind of want to learn how to, to uh, knit socks. And they announced that their uh, new colorways had been released. So off I went to uh, Knit Picks and I picked up a skein of uh, the Felici in um, Goth Kitty. 
So there it is. Pinks and grays. It's a lot more gray-y than pinky and purpley than I thought it was, but maybe it'll knit up different. Um, you never know. Uh, there was this um, fun one called Ice Cream Truck. So pinks and blues with a little bit of white in it. Really fun. Really cute. And I also got some Mountain Mist. This is the best one, I think, of the ones I picked. I love the uh, the soft, you know, the aquity, um, aqua tealy blueies in the purples and with a little bit of black. I think that'll make it pop whenever I learn how to do socks. So there's that. And then since I was there, I wandered past the Dishy and they had some colors on sale. So I picked up um, some Liberty in the multi, so that's red, white, and blue. Surprise! I picked up some more of the, um, where is the name of this one? Jewelry box. I love this. I love it so much. Love it, love it, love it. So there's some of the jewelry box right there. Um, and then somebody somewhere on a podcast that I had watched had done um, a project in the uh, Chroma Twist. And it was gorgeous and beautiful. So off I went and I bought, I actually got two skeins of the Chroma Twist. And this is in color Lupine. So... 1702, so they're both the same lot number, and I love, I guess it's a hand-spun look. Um, love all the different colors on that. I have no idea what I'm going to, what I am going to do with this once I get around to doing with this. So there's that, absolutely beautiful. Cats, man. Um, and then they just had a ton of stuff on sale. And so I was looking at stuff that was pretty, and so here is a uh, Precosa Tonal. Is this the Colorway Duchess? Yes, this is Colorway Duchess, and you can see it's a purple. But what I didn't realize is it's a monofilament. It's uh, not spun, or um, it doesn't have... It's just one cord. So you kind of have to be a little more careful with it when knitting with this, from what I understand. And then some Crest, which is a uh, sort of a greeny, tealy... Um, it's almost... well, it's not quite the same color as my shirt. It's reading a lot more blue here, but it's, it's really... it's quite green, almost like that. So I picked up those. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. And then I picked up some Stroll Fingering. Uh, this is Pacific tonal, more stripes, or more tones of green and beautifulness, and then I got a deep water tonal, also in the stroll fingering, and so that's got deep purples and blues, and um, just, you know, the colors that I love. So that was, that was what happened on the crazy yarn quisitions stuff this week going to be a short one if I edit out my uh, pondering at, at Miss Kitty doing her thing over there. Um, I remembered to bring home the list of floobies! So, let's have a look. Is there really that? Oh, no, okay. I got more than one page. I got several pages. All right. So this is like three, four weeks almost of, of new stitchers. A lot of you have found a lot of these um, stitchers already. Um, always, always worth looking at. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right. So Smurfette Stitches. Uh, she reviews her mania starts. Um, she likes to do her own designs. She's a longtime stitcher and quite a delight. A salt box stitcher. I know for a fact a lot of you have found her. Uh, Multi-crafter, longtime quilter and stitcher. Uh, shares her mania starts and finishes. Uh, loves Blackbird designs. Uh, Megan Laster. She's a quilter and stitcher. Uh, she's working on several on a Marabilia and a Haid. Um, beautiful, beautiful quilts in the background. Uh, Tess Carmine. Uh, starts us off with the Know Your Needle Worker tag and shows us some of her stitching. Um, she says if we're nice to her, she might come back, so go be nice to her. Um, next I met Danielle Walker. Walker. Uh, she's a jewelry maker that has moved into cross-stitch. 
she enjoys all the pop culture and subversive movements in cross-stitch. Uh, Tamara Brown, a longtime stitcher and multi-crafter, uh, shares many of her finishes, including a Lizzie Kate or two. So if you're a fan of the Lizzie Kates, go check that out. Um, she also has several fun whips from Imaginating. Uh, Laura Reed, a stitcher of 20 plus years, enjoys being a monogamous stitcher, and she is currently working on one of the beautiful Joan Elliott ladies. Gotta go watch her to figure out which one it is. Joan Lewis uh, joins us. She is a, a stitcher of 40 plus years. Uh, shares several of her old, old patterns from back in the day. And there are some treasures in her stash. Um, also gives us a whip parade. Let's see. We have, we met Patchy Pony Stitcher. Uh, she shares some of her favorite finishes. Uh, starts on a huge project. Um, with her return to stitching and has decided to throw in a couple of small stitches here and there between the large ones, which is smart. Uh, Not Forgotten Farm gives us a super short intro, uh, like a minute and 30, something like that. So hopefully she'll be back to show us some more of her stitching. We have Stitching in Sound, Kyle Rickenmeyer. Um, he is a creative soul who loves cooking, writing, stitching, etc. And shares off the Rose of Sharon that he has finished. Um, he showed us a few more of his uh, his stash, his kits, um, the other day in the last uh, video I saw from him. Link is my homeboy. I know several of you have shouted her out. A uh, longtime commenter to, in the uh, YouTube world and she joins the video party. Uh, it gives us the Know Your Needle Worker tag, uh, whip parade, and is uh, lots of fun. Stitching in Duda um, introduce themselves at the uh, StitchCon retreat. Um, they're friends from a long time and decided to jump in, and uh, I'm sure all the bad, bad influence of all the floss tubers at StitchCon had nothing to do with it at all. Anyway, uh, shares the reviews that, that they're working on the weekend at the con. Uh, fan patterns, fan ladies. Uh, the last stitcher I met is the stitching book. And she loves to stitch Mirabilia's and shares, um, shares many of her fun, bright, beautiful Mirabilia whips. So, I've been talking a lot. I'm going to cough and take a drink and I'll be right back. So there you have it. Um, I've, my voice just sounds sore because I've been talking a lot. I found that if I take a couple of Advil and that helps a lot with the soreness of my throat and cuts down on the coughing. I need to suck on a lozenge here in a minute or two. That will help as well. And then I just, in my real life, I don't talk that much. I sit and I watch. So this is usually the most talking that I do in a week. So there you have it. Um, not much going on in the uh, everyday life. Um, I told you that my parents went down for a great aunt's funeral, went down to Arizona. Um, I get to work the 4th of July. Um, we have the big stadium show. Uh, One Republic is our headliner this year. That we'll be doing about, according to the show plan, um, 27 minutes of straight up fireworks. Just boom, 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 boom one after another, so that'll be really quite fun to see. Um, I'm getting a little stir crazy. I want to get out of the house. I want to go somewhere. I don't have anywhere to go or anything like that. So if you got, I, so I don't know. There is a teeny tiny Utah uh, yarn shop, yarn shop, shop hop coming up here the 14th through the 21st of July, so Mom and I are talking about um, hitting it up, going a little bit here and a little bit there um, to see um, the yarn. I guess that's why you go on a yarn. We're going to so go see some yarn, so that's what we're going to do. Um, that's kind of it, my friends. Not a lot going on. Well, or a lot going on that's not terribly interesting. That can be it, too. So... Anyway, like I said, I'm a little stir crazy. I'm a little road crazy. I want to get out, do something. Love to be able to get into the mountains and have a cabin or something where I can just sit on the front porch in a chair in the shade 
and knit or stitch or just kind of chill. That would be wonderful because when you're home, you end up doing all the chores, which reminds me tonight's chore night. I got to get the laundry done and the dishes loaded and recycled and the trash taken out. I craft all day Saturday, guys. That's why chores don't happen on Saturday. Chores happen on Monday. That's the way it is. Um, oh, some of you have asked after how my bulletin board is going. It's going really quite well. Um, the only reason I don't take pictures of it and share it with you guys is because it has a lot of names on it for the women who are in my congregation, and I just I don't want to, you know, show, show off their names when they have no idea about this or anything like that. So for their privacy, no real pictures of the bulletin board, but it's coming along okay. Um, I find that I tend to like bold graphic um, sorts of things and um, sometimes I'm worried that I throw too many things at the bulletin board and I'm not really sure when to stop. You know, sort of the creative process of, we'll just keep going and someday you got to stop and just stop and call it good. So I just, I love putting all sorts of crazy on my bulletin boards actually well, with the 4th of July red, white, and blue theme board for for July. Surprise! My best friend has threatened me with my life if I do a back to school theme in September when her birthday is because she says that's what she's got all her life. And I'm like, hmm. So maybe sunflowers. I think I'm going to have to do beach in August. Now that I've got the bulletin board done for uh, July up and, and sitting there all nice and pretty with the information on it, I have to start thinking about August. And so I think August might be beach. Lovely shades of blue for ocean and sky, a little bit of brown for sand, maybe some beach balls. We'll see. I gotta think about it and see what I've got. So there you go. Look, I rambled on. I didn't think I was going to. Hey Debbie, is your son knitworthy? It's a worthy question. Anyway guys, have a great one. Hey, oh, ah, let's do the spiel. I almost forgot to do the spiel. I'm stitching jewels right there. Let's do the thing. I love her. She's fantastic. Anyway, thank you. Each and every one of you who likes my videos, who watches and subscribes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the commenters. Thank you. I really, I really mean it. Uh, from the bottom of my little heart. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that you guys get plenty of time this upcoming week to stitch on the things that you love. Um, that your stitching brings you peace and comfort. If you're looking to knit, I hope your knit knitting brings you some peace and comfort. Don't know how to knit? Learn a new skill. Don't how know how to stitch? Learn a new skill! Hobbies! Woo! Yeah, the last thing I need is another hobby with a collecting element to it. Yeah. Um, hope that frog stays far, far away from your projects. Thank you so much, everybody. Hugs and stitches. Bye. No. Stop it. No. Stop knocking over the trash. The trash is not for you. Not for you.